They are native to Mexico, Central America, Northern South America, and the Caribbean, but have long been cultivated all over the world. They grow really well in Southern California, Florida, Arizona, Texas, and most Southern states. China and India are actually the two largest producers of guava. The easiest way to make guava syrup at home is to mix, well, two parts guava nectar with one part hot water. And, well, just stir well. This should roughly bring you to the same level of sweetness as a one-to-one -one simple syrup. Bottle it and let it cool to room temperature. It can last for up to two weeks in the fridge. But you know, you should use it sooner as it tastes best within the first few days. The best thing about guava <laughs> is everything from the skin and seeds to the flesh is edible. They're high in vitamin C and, well, taste delicious. There you go. Good man. <laughs> you know what? I think uh, I need a new canister. Yay! We got fire. That's a good thing. Medium heat. I'm going to add some water. Two cups, actually. This is uh, filtered water. You want to use some water that is the cleanest you can get your hands on, okay? I've got uh, a half a cup of uh, cane sugar. In the pot it goes. I'm just going to give that a little stir. And in the meantime, while this is heating up, we're going to cut some guava. <laughs> and like I said, I mean, everything is edible, right? Everything. The skins, the seeds. So I'm not, I'm not going to uh, rhyme these things. What I'm using here is about a pound of guavas. Slicing these uh, ends off. and dropping them into our sugar water. Yeah. I think I'm gonna clock wipe this one, Bruce. Okay. <laughs> all right, we got our guava all cut up. So what we want to do now is just like bring this to a boil. This is gonna take a couple seconds here. Dissolve all that sugar. Just gonna take a minute. Okay, so now that we've come to a boil here and all that sugar is dissolved into it, we're gonna just uh, turn our stove down to like a uh, medium low heat and we're gonna simmer for 15 minutes. Okay, I'll see you then. You know, if green had a smell, <laughs> this would be it. <laughs> this just smells so earthy. Anyway, it's been like 15 minutes. What we're gonna do is we're gonna shut our stove off and we're just gonna pop it on our hot plate here. And you could just use this syrup the way it is. I mean, it's sugar, it's water, it's guavas. But I like to add a couple things. And the reason is um, I want these flavors to be subtle. I don't, that's why I didn't cook them, right? I've got a little cinnamon stick here. I'm just gonna drop that in there. I think cinnamon and guava are going to uh, blend nicely together. I've got a half a lime here. Um, fresh pressed lime juice, just a half of a lime. It's just gonna like add a little acidity. I just want to be subtle with my flavors, my additional flavors here. My complimentary flavors, actually. That's pretty good. And um, a little uh, vanilla extract. A bean would be awesome, but all my beans are dried up. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Anyway, uh, I'm just going with a teaspoon. 
of uh, vanilla extract. Just stir it all in and uh, pop a lid on. <laughs> and now it's the waiting game. You wanna just let this steep for like 30 minutes. So I'll see you then. Cheers. We're back. This has been steeping for about a half an hour now. Oh yeah, I'm smelling. Oh, I'm smelling all kinds of things here. You know, another ingredient that would work really well in this would be a, a few uh, cloves. I think that would really accent this wonderful flavor. I'm gonna use my, uh, my food mill here. And if you don't have a food mill, you could just use a, a big old strainer here, dump your uh, mixture into the strainer and, and, and mash it down with, a, with the back of a wooden spoon. That'll do, work just as fine. But I've got a food mill, so that's what I'm gonna use, all right? I think I'm gonna just get rid of this cinnamon stick here. I'm gonna dump in my mixture. And get to milling. <laughs> oh yeah, look at this, this is marvelous. I guess I'm done. Okay. All right. I guess that's all we're gonna get. Okay, the next thing we wanna do is just fine strain it into our measuring cup. Get all those chunks out, you know? And we'll just get in there all that goodness, you know? Yeah, look at that, that's beautiful. Give it a helping hand here. You're not gonna get a lot, you know? Might end up with about a cup, but that'll be lots of syrup to work with in an upcoming cocktail, for sure. It's almost like applesauce. Yeah, look at that. Okay, I think I'm in. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna fine strain it one more time into our bottle. Oh, look at that gold. Look at that gold. This could take a couple minutes. Well, what's your hurry? Okay, there it is. So we almost got a cup. We started with two cups of uh, water and we got almost a cup. All right, let's just uh, try this, I guess, you know. Or maybe we should fortify it first. Yeah, probably vodka. But um, kind of swaying towards rum, believe it or not. Nah, we'll go with vodka, damn it. Damn it. <laughs> well, vodka is so neutral, right? So it's not gonna impair uh, the taste of our guava syrup. About a half an ounce. And you'll get, well, you'll probably get at least two weeks, maybe a little longer in the fridge. But again, you wanna use it up because it tastes fresh and best when it's ready to go, right? Okay, let's try this. Ooh, that's a nice glass. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that, look at that. Oh, I get a little faint hint of that cinnamon, but not too much, right? It's absolutely delicious. <laughs> Better than I expected. It's sweet and has an almost um, 
pear quality, the, the taste of pear, the faint hit of strawberry, weird. But yeah, pear. If I had to compare it to anything, it would be pear. Hmm. That is delicious. So I'm thinking we need, <laughs> I'm thinking I need another one. Um, I'm thinking in an upcoming video, we're gonna do a cocktail made with our lovely guava syrup. Thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit that subscribe button down there. It doesn't cost you anything, and you'll be supporting us. How wonderful would that be? Thank you.